have a look at this thing. So we got the Giant Rain E. I've just bought myself a Giant Rain and it is killer. I'm frothing on it. This thing, a friend of mine bought it pretty much the same time. It's killer. We got an 800 watt hour battery, so big slug up the front. Big hefty piggy up the front. Not sure how much the bike weighs yet. I haven't really sussed it out. RockShox Zeb Select on the back, uh, on the for the fork. That's, you know, that's all right. I haven't ridden on it yet. I've only ridden on it in the 190 mil or 200 maybe it was. No, it would have been the 190 mil version on the uh, Pole Voima. So this is a 170. Float X, budget Bob Float X, so no compression adjustment, but it feels, go it feels good. It's got a 0.4 spacer. We got one spacer in the fork for now, 85 psi. The rear shock's at 165 for my 78-ish dress to ride. Running gear, pretty straightforward. We've got Praxis on the front, 160 cranks. Already bent on the uh, non-drive side arm. So just any time I see Praxis, that word is, it must be like French for inferior or something. I don't know. I've just seen Praxis, Praxis cranks break over and again, uh, especially their carbon stuff. So I kind of tend to stay away from it, but I know they got high-end stuff as well. So... Um, I'm not really going to send it today. I'm just going to go out for a couple of little tickle runs and see how it feels. But bent crank, I don't want to risk it. So the dropper's killer. Yeah, it's good enough. we got Vittoria Mazza front and rear. So we've got the E-Mazza on the back, which I don't know if that's any different to the Mazza Enduro. Um, oh, he's got a trail on the front. I thought he was running the Enduros, but he's got a trail 2.6 on the front as well. So um, that might be a bit bouncy. The trail casing is a little bouncy versus the enduro casing so uh, we'll see how that goes but they're 2.6s so they are ready to party absolutely uh yamaha motor doing the back and forth on the street so i've done a fat car park setup i've done a heap of riding back and forth and this thing this motor feels killer this motor feels excellent it's no real stuck in the mud after the restrictor I've whinged about the restrictor over and over again on these e-bikes in Australia, but past the restrictor, so I had my Strava on the other night to see uh, if I could boost it past, and I could boost it to 30Ks on the street, no worries. Uh, it wasn't that stuck in the mud. It's a little bit heavier, but it's not like uh, the traditional ones. It's not like most of the e-bikes I've ridden with the that stuck in the mud feeling. So um, I wouldn't be screaming to, to de-restrict it. Uh, I'd just leave it for now. If there's a way to de-restrict it, definitely de-restrict it if it's you know it doesn't affect your warranty too much or whatever but otherwise yeah it's not too bad it's not too bad the brakes are killer shimano slx he's bled them up i think because they feel killer one up tool in the stem uh, in the steerer it's killer it's actually i don't mind this either so this sucker here is the control panel so up down i don't know what the middle one does either i really don't know what is going on at all on this bike yet we go on should be have about half a battery and that's auto mode so it gives you bugger all if you're putting bugger all in but heaps if you're putting heaps in so i actually like that as well when i was boosting around the streets let's get on the trails see how this thing goes it's a medium as well uh i think it's going to be killer climbs killer just come down that fat, steep ass hill. You can see down there. Uh, good seated position, so obviously a nice steep seat angle. Power's there. Boost it up pretty quickly. This runs on Strava, so you can probably see the, the Strava time for it. We're gonna drop into Twisted Gum or Twisted Noodle, bit of a family favourite, and uh, if we can get another lap out of this battery, which we should get another one or two, I'll do the uh, purgatory lap as well, see how she goes. First impressions, fork with one token, uh, the RockShox Zeb with the new spring, uh, little bit 
a little bit choppy off the top. Not terrible. I was talking about in that little preview that uh, on the road I wasn't really noticing the stuck in the mud as much as some other e-bikes. But now that I'm on the trail climbing, there's some flatter stuff back there that you definitely feel it. So maybe it is not as drastically better as I initially mentioned. There's still a bit of stuck in the mud. Not terrible, but it is what it is. Should we drop straight in, in the uh, spirit of the e-bike? Yes, we should. So we'll see, we're 87 PSI in that fork. And it's butter smooth. And we are 165 in the rear. And it's also rather smooth. This is the first time I've ridden this bike outside of the wall. Outside of that oh, car park lap. I just grabbed the crank on the edge there. Um, and these tires are slippery. This is the uh, Mazza. And that's a little bit slippery on the loose stuff. No worries on the good stuff, but yeah, definitely slippery. Nothing like a DHF, like or a Max Grip, Maxi Rubber. Heaps of support out the back at 20 mil sag. Yeah, gobs of support at the back, still. Oh, just made the triple. Could probably reel that front in a little bit. It's um, it's kind of back and forth a touch. Maybe a little bit of, a little slower on the rebound. I could afford, because I still feel like I've got plenty of, uh, plenty of get go. Yeah, when there's dirt to bite into, these Mazas are excellent. But when you're just on the top of something and it's just gravel over hard pack or, or powder over hard pack, she's a little skatey, a little too hard a compound. Oh, see, there's no grip, like no pull-up grip under braking because of that that compound, you can just feel it slide across the top of things. So I'm going to be careful coming in here. But yeah, this thing's smooth. Very smooth. I like it. Go high line. See if we can drop it in on the inside. Yeah, boy! Oh, that edge of that tyre is just a little hard in these conditions. Great in a wetter soil or a softer soil. But this hard pack stuff, she, uh, she's looking for traction. Oh yeah, this bike absolutely rips. Long ass chainstay, like really long chainstay, but not noticeable. When you get that sag right, it is not an issue at all. So much booger on that run because we dropped straight in I didn't clear the honker clear the honker straight back up yeah why not that's home right there not bad eh let's get back to business straight back into it I've got an extra quicker compression at the front instead of slowing the rebound. Keep a little bit of speed. Oh, there's another track to the left back there, it looks like. Maybe they're just using some turns instead of doing this straight fire road setup. Woo! Gotta whip that back end around that little tree. Oh, yeah. Oh. Yeah, this thing is killer. If I compare it directly to the last e-bike I rode, which is that Voima, that's slippery at the back for sure. Definitely need a better braking rear tyre. Um, comparing it to the Voima, 
Uh, I like, I definitely prefer this low slung setup. That higher front end, when you're getting into, into trails where you're hitting burns, like tight trees around you, like Bennett's, perfect example. Um, you know, forest, pine forest, lots of natural, tight trail. Um, when you lay the bike over, you're so much taller. So you're taking up, taking up, taking up more lateral space as well. Look at this thing. It is killer, it's so confident. It is so good, 20 mil sag at the back. So 19 is 30%, 20 is closer to 31 and a bit. And it's, oh, it's so good. It is so good, you just put your feet where you want it to be and it's gonna be there. Even with these tires, like, don't get me wrong, these are good tires, but dry, hard pack summer, like they're hooking up here because this isn't too well ridden yet. So there's still a bit of soil to dig into, but the real compacted stuff, it's just a little, little slippery. Yeah, this is killer. I am so into this bike. Oh, Taylor, you should have just got the e-bike version. Why don't you get another normal bike? Because I like to suffer. Hey, guys. Woo. How good's that? How good is that? We'll do a four weeks, see what that's rolling like weight of this thing but it's definitely a two-man lift getting over this fence um but you don't really feel it honestly this thing feels killer obviously it plows a little bit under braking with these uh soft tires but it feels killer it feels killer i'm a little uh sketchy to really give it the beans there because of this loose leaf litter i'm not trusting the uh the rubber on the on the surface kind of stuff but everywhere else life's got me going I'll avoid that. Should have sent it. Send that one. Oh, that's a bit booty at the front there. Be careful on that one. That doggy. Yeah, just under brakes. That, uh, that tire's not the best. Yeah, butter fork. Let you get that high line. And put the bike where you want it. Whoa! That's been built up a bit. It looks a little bit different coming in. Kind of did a little bit of poo in pants. I reckon I can go a little more pressure on that fork. Oh, uh, maybe not. I don't know. It feels pretty good. <laughs> Everything feels pretty good, which is, ah, I just got stung by something. God damn it. So, uh, the show must go on. I swear to God, I just got tagged by a bee or something right on my back. Good thing it's not in my bonnet. Hey. Oh. There we go, dead battery. And I am very impressed. So, I get asked pretty regularly, what do you reckon I should do? I'm getting a new e-bike, blah, blah, blah. And uh, my go-to for the longest time has been that Marin Alpine Trail. And now we got a freshie. We got someone else that I'm absolutely happy to recommend. I love the motor, I love the Geo. I love the suspension performance. I love the fun. I love the amount of laps I just did in like an hour or whatever. I love these brakes, these SLX brakes. Just could stop a train. Praxis cranks, no thanks. Uh, but if you were to buy this bike, just I don't know what else is compatible with these motors. I assume everybody makes them, but I'd go an XT155 or something like that. Or a Hope 15, I don't know. Whatever you can get in 155 that's gonna be strong. 
so you can keep it low without having to worry about pedal strikes and uh oh god damn this is good don't like the grips heaps and heaps and heaps of grip on these rental grips but i think they were just a little hard on the hands um i felt that around at home but i didn't feel it today um maybe i'm just frothing so hard and everything feels good but they just feel like there's no actual cushion there heaps and heaps of grip like they stick like garbage to something like but uh I'm not sure if they're just a little bit like not enough cushion for the pushing. Anyway, giant rain E. This thing is a weapon. I could probably have buttoned off that compression again. That I don't know. That was a good run. That felt rather good. Uh, it's beautiful. It's beautiful not having to worry about like oh I can't find that that plushness. I can't you know this or that. You just shut up and ride. It is killer. Not that I ever shut up and ride. I'm always chatting. Anyway, that's enough. That's our afternoon delight today. Stay tuned for the next one.